KRVSR Productions. Hi, once again, my name is Kenny. We talked about racial tension. We talked about uh, a few things. Let's talk about racial equality. Let's talk about being, being fair. You know, everybody in this world, in this world, well, in this country, wants a little piece of the American dream. Some of us are never going to achieve it because the, the, the government or the heads of government, they're not going to let that happen. Everybody cannot be on the same level. We understand that. Why? I don't understand. They could pay people millions of dollars to play basketball, to play football, to run the state, to be president, to act, to sing, to rap. Millions, I mean, unbelievable amounts of money. But for the people that work hard every day, keeping this country rolling, there's nothing but a dollar and a dream, basically. I feel totally tired and worn out having to have to see this for 59 years. And to actually, I'm not, tr I'm not trying to really like put anybody down because however you got yours, that, that's just fine. But it's a lot of, you know, I just say this, we spend lots of money on entertainment, whether it's sports, you know, concerts, movies, uh, pay a lot of money into our government. And I know I'm somewhat repeating myself, but what about the, the middle class worker? What about the person that has to put their children through school, clothe their children, feed their children? What about them? What about all the, you know, the anguish that we go through, trying to make this happen every single day of our lives. Now, the majority of you understand exactly what I'm talking about, because you might have children, you might have a family, you might have dear ones with nieces or nephews or whatever, that you're trying to help build, you know, great character in these, in these children. Because every child isn't gonna grow up to be successful at great things like being a singer or being, on, being in theater or anything like that, or being a scientist. I know I'm going off a little bit of track than I normally do, but I wanted to address this because it's very dear to me. And a lot of my friends have children. And so this is like the basic talk. So I'm addressing this today that equality. When does, when does it become fair for the hardworking man that gets up every day, four, five, six in the morning, and go ten, and tends to his business just to make what needs to be made to keep this country running? Or, and to bring home food, money for food and rent and, or mortgage or whatever. When does it become fair that you know, that he can get, you know, a little, a little break out of life. If we can pay actors, singers, congress congressional individuals, senators, people that have no, really no bearing on us, we don't need them. We really don't need them in our life, but we, we try to participate in everything. But there is no, really no reward for us. It's always a give situation for us. When is it, when is it 
our time to get a real piece of the American dream. It's kind of even hard to sit home and sit home and watch TV and knowing that whatever show you're watching, these people are getting big dollars. Even these stupid reality shows. These people are getting paid to do stupid stuff on these reality shows. And here we get up and do the real work and get crumbs that fall off the table. I mean, is that more is that worth more than 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 the hard work that comes into getting up and making the bread for the stores or you know or milking the cows for the for the milk that goes in the stores or or building transportation that has to get us around or the mechanic that has to fix the car and has to deal with the individual that that doesn't make a lot of money so he needs to he needs to basically put a band-aid on his car because he's not make he or she's not making enough money come on this is becoming real stupid and trivial i call it tedious this country could figure out many different ways on how to put money into other stuff, like they putting $5 billion in, into a wall or something like that, or, you know, or, or in, into the military to protect us. But, yo, what's, what's all that worth if we're broke all the time? I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense to you. I get up every day, go to work, do what I gotta do. And at the end of the week, guess what? I gotta figure out where my money, how I'm gonna divide this, this, you know, this chump change up. I just wanted to go off track just a little bit. Cause I'm gonna get back on this racial thing. Cause I think that that's what the government is playing off of. He's playing off of us. With this, with this racial tension thing in the United States, so it could take the mi our minds off the crumbs that are falling off the table. If we were making more money, and guess what? And actually getting a piece of the dream, we wouldn't be concentrating so much on the racial tension. And this guy, and that guy, and this guy, because of their color or, 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 or whatever. It's a big plot. So I ask you, let's stop pointing the finger at other people that are struggling just at us and point the finger at where, where, where the problem really is. The government, big business. And how come these businesses that were promised to come back to our country, that were gonna come back to our country, it isn't here yet. I know it takes time, but we should be seeing some kind of movement by now. Where are the promises? And I'm not pointing at one person. I'm not pointing at just at the president because he's just one person. It takes a team of people to make stuff happen. He's just one man that got voted into a position. And just like any one of us, if we have a dream, guess what? All we want to do is fulfill our dreams. He had a dream and he had a plan. It worked out for him. I'm not saying that I'm down with the plan, everything that's coming out of his plans, but the deal is that he is that number one man in the United States right now. So I say this to anyone that's watching this, Point your fingers at the right people. Because everybody here is trying to get a piece of the pie. I understand right where you're at. I understand. I'm talking to the, man, the hard working man and woman that gets up every morning, day after day after day, bones hurting, back hurting, you know what I mean? Toothache, you know, eye doesn't, eye doesn't feel right today. Car smoking, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about you. I'm not talking to you people that think that life is beautiful. And there's a few of you blue collar workers that feel that way too and you're, and you're crazy. 
Life is not great in America right now. People are struggling. And we need to point the finger where the finger go, it's supposed to go. If you like this pod, push the like button and please subscribe. I'm out.